Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a Rosecraft Blades knife. This has come all the way from Blue Creek Knives over in the US. Fantastic small run business. The owner there, Brian, um, did ship this out to me in the UK. It actually came pretty quick. It was about a week's delivery, which is excellent for coming from the US to the UK. No sort of issues with customers or anything. I can't, I can't say for anybody else, but I had no issues. It sailed straight through. Literally just dropped on my doorstep this morning. So we'll take a quick look at that now. Did also receive a couple of nice stickers there. Got the Rosecraft blade sticker, uh, a Blue Creek knives sort of skeleton, another Blue Creek knives. Stay prepared, don't get prepared. And then we have a dive Indiana Ponds Blue Creek knives. Discover the deep. So let's have a quick look at the knife. So here's the box. You can see it's a very well presented box. So you have the model number there, and you can see it's the Clinch River Swayback. That's the RCT005. Lovely, well presented, nice, sturdy box with a nice little pull tab. So open this up, and here we have the knife. Just get the box out of the way, pop that up there. So here is the knife, the Clinch River Swayback. It's in, you can see it's in this beautiful orange bone. Absolutely fantastic colouring on this. I mean, lovely thin finish, all smooth. Can't feel any transitions. Nice stainless steel bolster lined. Lovely rosebud shield. But you can just look at the the sort of grain in between in the bone where it's dyed. It's fantastic. Excellent fit and finish. Can't see any gaps on the back there at all. All the way around to the termination, very good. Reverse side, a little bit lighter here, but it's bones and natural material, so when you dye it, it's unpredictable. But love the colours. I think this is going to be a favourite for me, it's so nice. Little lanyard tube there for a smaller power, for a smaller lanyard if that's what you're into. Lovely fit and finish as well. Bang down the middle, and you can see the reflection there of how clean it comes inside, which is nice. Take a look at the blade, lovely half stop, nice snap into the open. So here you have the sway back shape, so you can see it, it curves up at the back with a little bit of a belly here. Lovely large forward finger choil. And then I would say this is sort of like a modified worn cliff, because the curve does start quite far back, but it is definitely a worn cliff shape. Nice clean nail neck and swedging on the top. Now you can see the Rosecraft Blades logo just there. And on the rear, you have um, the steel designation, which is D2. Andy Armstrong's little insignia there. He designed this. He also did a lot of Rough Rider reserves. And then the, and then the model number, which is RCT005. So this is a Chinese-made knife. I do hear they're looking to get production into the USA at some point, but for now they're, they're Chinese-made. Absolutely fantastic. This is razor sharp out of the box, like scalpel sharp. Lovely forward finger choil. You can see there, medium to sort of large hands, it sits like in your palm there perfectly. Like you're, this is not going to close on you at all. I and mean, if you do hold it back here, if it did close, look at look at the gap there. Look, you have no worries. It's probably one of the safest knives about. Do the action for you now. Lovely snap, firm snap down there into the closed position. No blade wrap due to the stop pin in there, which lands just back here, stops the blade wrapping on the back. Just have a quick overview of the knife again. Love the orange bone. Perfect fit and finish. Pins all smooth. absolutely fantastic knife so let me know in the comments guys what do you think about this a little bit expensive for me over here but i'd have to pay the postage i think it, i paid uh in dollars i'd say it was probably it's what is it a 35 40 dollar knife i probably paid 50 dollars 55 to get it shipped to the uk but that's not too bad with postage and just one final thing in the video i received my stickers here from singing toad that's Dave over at Singing Toad who sent these out for me. Very much appreciate him. Be sure to go check him out and give him a, a like and a follow and a subscribe. Some excellent content. 
please do check him out along with my good friend Tom at Knife Delights. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.